the one thing you need to understand if you're manifesting a specific person. There are infinite parallel realities already existing within your reality, right? Exactly like a swimming pool with all the different lanes, okay? Now, because creation is finished, that means that like each lane in a swimming pool, you've got the past, present, and the future. Now, all of that has already been created. So you have infinite options to choose from, infinite realities to choose from. Now, there are infinite versions of yourself that exist, and there are infinite versions of your specific person that also exist. And you are the one who chooses is which reality you want to experience. So the only thing that you need to do is convince yourself that your desired relationship with your specific person already exists. Now to do that, you need to match your thoughts to the reality that you want to experience. So instead of thinking that you are changing your specific person, know that you are changing yourself. You are changing your thoughts so you can experience a different reality with that version of your specific person that you want to experience and the version of yourself that you want to be in that reality. So whenever you're visualizing, scripting, or affirming, you are thinking from that reality. So for example, when you say that your specific person loves you, you are thinking from that reality that your specific person loves you. You are quantum jumping into the reality where your specific person already loves you and you're using your thoughts to do so. So the more that you do this, the more it will become natural to you and that's what then gets pushed out and that is what manifests. So you are not changing anyone by affirming. You are changing your thoughts to quantum jump into a reality that already exists where your specific person does love you and you're already in a relationship. That is why you go within and change your thoughts. That is why this game is all about you, not them.